Today, obviously, you created a lot of chances. Um, Harry Maguire said after the game that he felt you did enough to win it. What was your view of your team's performance? We built loads of pressure, created pressure, uh, pegged them back. But I didn't feel we created enough big moments to uh, to score the goals. We didn't have the... Or saying that, we, we did get round the sides. We did get down, flash a few crosses uh, across the line. But maybe the cross or the positioning or the movement wasn't there. So we didn't have, you know, big, big moments that you felt that should have been a goal, that should have been a goal. Um, disappointingly, even though the ball was in the last third all the time. So apart from a few counter-attacks, which is always dangerous when you've got uh, Premier League players playing against you. And given the way that Manchester City are playing at the moment, is it now a battle between everyone else to try and finish second, do you think? No, I don't think so. I think uh, no one will give it away this early. Of course, it's no one knows this season how it's it's so unpredictable. Life is so in, unpredictable. Anything can happen. Of course, we're not going to settle for second. Of course, we're not. Thank you. Thank you. Ollie, how much of a blow does today feel? You've obviously had that important win in the FA Cup. But you've, is it one win in five now in the league? Uh, as what you said in the build-up was a very important period. Well, it's disappointing, of course. Uh, we've uh, come away two points less than, than we wanted to. Um, the start was difficult. They put us under pressure, as you expect, when they get a kick-off. And we couldn't clear our lines. Then, then again, we get 90 minutes plus to... Um, to get two goals, I'd rather concede in the first than the 92nd minute. Uh, just couldn't get enough uh, big chances. Great goal we scored. Fantastic technique by Bruno after some very good build-up play and good pressure. Good cross by Luke. Hartley, um, are, you, are you concerned about Anthony Marshall's form? I mean, obviously, you kept him in the team again today, but he seemed to struggle out there and he's not getting as many goals as he did last season. Say again. Uh, Anthony just... Marshall's, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can do, yeah. It seemed like you're just making up a statement here. Was it a question or a statement? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm asking, are you concerned about Anthony Marshall's form? Oh, no. Uh, I know Anthony's working hard to uh, to get back to uh, where he was, and uh, he'll score goals. His work, his attitude's very good. Uh, so, you know, form is sometimes temporary, but class is permanent, and, and the kid's got class. And when he works hard, we know that it's going to come out with the good performances in the end. Um, hi, Ollie. Uh, I don't know if you've had a chance to see their goal again, but the replays yeah. looked, looked as if the, the strikers all over Victor. It's, it's one of those, you know, a similar one to the Sheffield United one that, that may have gone your way in, in a, a, a different day. Well, it's more of a foul than what Harry gave away against Burnley, to put it that way. Uh, as a, when, that's, when that goal is taken away from us, if there's any consistency at all, this is a foul as well. Then again, being a striker as I was, it would be harsh to lose a goal like this. So both of them should have stood for me. But if you, I've not really looked at it. I just saw it live. But uh, if you, uh, I've not clearly looked at it that closely. But um, the consistency is what we need, and it's definitely more of a foul than what uh, Harry did against the Burnley kid. Hi, Oli. The um, unbeaten away run has been extended now, but what does that actually mean considering it's only the one point instead of the three today? At the moment, that record doesn't mean anything. We are uh, in desperate need for three pointers because we want to move up the table and you don't do that by getting one point away from home. So, of course, it's a disappointing uh, outcome. Uh, today, then again, some some of the play was really good. Some of the performances were really good. So there there are some positives, but overall, disappointed with one point only. Sorry, with that. Is that me? Sorry, Karen. Yeah, Laurie. Yeah. 
Aya, Aya, um, is there any concern, Ollie, about the way you players approach some of these matches against teams at the lower end of the table, talking about Sheffield United now and West Brom? Is there a, is there a mentality thing that needs fixing there? No, uh, uh, the attitude is right. The attitude is, uh, I've seen the focus, I've seen what we've, uh, the work the coaches have done, the focus was there, attitude's been right, and I cannot fault the attitude at all. And uh, it's about the quality in, in games. Premier League, it doesn't matter if you play against the fifth team or the 18th team or 10th, you've got to produce quality in the, in the big moments. And we just lack that little bit of ruthlessness, clinicalness in the finishing, uh, definitely. Okay, last question, Simon, please. Ollie, just, just want to touch on VAR again. Um, Ralph Hasnessel has been fuming today about consistency. Consistency keeps coming up time and time again. Yeah. Is it time for managers to, 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 to approach the PGMOL? I mean, what, what can be done? Because it's happening every week at the moment. I think we all want consistency and a fair game. But then again, we, there's, there's human error that we all expect from our game. It's, uh, that's what happens. But you know the penalty that we could have had today? Harry, it's a clear foul. If... If you let it go into the, if you only look at the decision, the the clash between the centre back and uh, and Harry, that's a foul. But in from what I see, I see Harry being in an offside position. So someone must have been asleep in that VAR office, Stockley Park or wherever they are. It's some someone needs to to boil some coffee and brew some coffee because that's. Uh, it could have been easily avoided by saying, nah, he's offside, done, let's move on. 